It is convention weekend for the Republican Party of Virginia. Party leaders from across the state are in Richmond to pick their candidates for the fall elections. Ryan Noble's back from the Richmond Coliseum with more on this evening's kickoff. Well, Gene, Republicans are talking about a comeback, and they believe that comeback starts right here in Virginia. Governor Mitt Romney, a man who could be eyeing a run for the White House once again in 2012, said that the governor's races in New Jersey and Virginia could be the start of that turnaround. He said if the Republicans win both, the country will notice. That sends a pretty strong signal that conservative principles of keeping government small, keeping taxes down, and trying to build jobs in the private sector really is the approach which the American people find most attractive. Now, Romney told the convention tonight that Virginia is still a center-right state, and this election will be evidence of that. But high-profile speakers are just one part of the Republican Party's plan to turn things around. They're making a special effort to reach out to web-savvy voters through social media and the Internet. It's a market currently owned by the Democrats. Lindsay Fisher is an active 21-year-old Republican on every social networking website you can think of. She believes her party needs to be as well. Facebook, Twitter, it's really easy for young people my age to keep up with it that way. And the grand old party is getting this new message. They are active on the net this week and have even set up a special bloggers row that allows internet reporters a front row seat to the convention action. We go out of here as a united party. Mickey White, the Midlothian writer of withbias.net, believes it's about more than just impressing people like her. But to introduce those that haven't quite gotten there yet, maybe they're just sifting through the blogs, maybe they're a member of Facebook but didn't realize that you could use it for political connection. Ben Trevett is a Democratic blogger, and his Not Larry Sabato blog is so popular that when he endorsed Terry McAuliffe for governor, the candidate appeared with him on his blog. He believes Republicans won't see that same success until their candidates buy into the idea. Our elected officials are participating in the medium, and so it attracts more people in to participate when that's happening. Republicans are hopeful that turnaround begins this week. And speaking of blogs, don't forget that you can read special political coverage on my political blog, which is DecisionVirginia.com. Now, tomorrow marks a big day for state Republicans. They will choose between two candidates for lieutenant governor and one of three candidates for attorney general. They will also hear from talk show host Sean Hannity, and they'll formally nominate Bob McDonnell as their candidate for the fall election. The convention reconvenes tomorrow at 10 a.m., and we'll have complete coverage tomorrow at 6. Ryan Nobles, NBC 12 News.